nothing better than the NBA on ESPN. I'm Stuart Scott. Come on, y'all. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. B. Diddy is going to show us how you distribute the ball out there. He's just a great passer, and hitting the open man and running the show is just second nature for him. You want to watch that assist column on him because he's going to fill it up real quick like. Bobcats, Hornets. Time, time, right about now. Hello and welcome to the NBA preseason. Tip-off is just a few moments away here at the Hornets Arena in New Orleans. The visiting Charlotte Bobcats will square off against the Hornets here on the NBA on ESPN. Hello there, along with Bill Walton, Bob Fitzgerald on hand, Michelle Tafoya will join us in a bit. As we watch the teams warm up, Bill, which players do you have your eyes on? Bob, both teams have extremely talented rosters, but I have my eyes on two players in particular here. Jamal Mashman is an excellent player at the small forward position. He has that knack for making the right decision offensively. When he's on, he can manipulate defenders like puppets. Standing just across the court is another difference maker. Brevin Knight is a very capable player. His lightning quick speed helps him to dominate on both ends of the floor. Thanks, Bill, and without further ado, it looks like they're getting set up for the tip-off. The Bobcats control the opening tip, and we'll get this one started. Michelle Tafoya has some extra info for us. Michelle? Thanks, Bob. I spoke with the Hornets head coach before the teams came out, and he told me that they're planning to put a lot of pressure on the ball and try to cause some turnovers. They're more than capable of doing just that with the ball hawks they have on their squad. It should be exciting to watch. Back to you guys. Thanks, Michelle. Swings it to Mashburn. The pass to Brown. With the drop step. Seven on the shot clock. Sinks it. When you're getting close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. The Bobcats working up court and they're trailing two to zero. Passes to Wallace. Pass to Okafor. Okafor. Nice dish by Wallace. He's not their go-to guy on offense, but he's a fierce competitor and always rises to the occasion when his number's called. It's knocked away. The Hornets recover it. To Wesley. Tries to post him up. Let's it go from the wing. Nails it. This one looks even better the second time. It's nice play to get to the bucket. to Wallace, bounces it to Slay, swings it to White, seven on the shot clock, shoots right block, snatched in off the defensive glass by Wesley. That shot was an absolute prayer and for all you agnostics, your dreams are now coming true. Something tells me that's not what the coach had in mind. Dumps it to the middle, hammers it in. They bring it up court, 2.58 left in the first quarter. The pass to Mashburn. Cross court. Pass to McGlure. Pass, cross court. White elevated and yanked down the rebound. Wallace. The bounce pass to Okafor. To the rack. Good it falls short. That one was his to make, but I hey, guess with the defenders the nearby, he just got flustered. Rebound. Better luck next time. The skip pass to Davis. I got him. I got the ball. From about 19 feet. 
Okafor grabs the defensive rebound. The pass to Wallace. Pass to Okafor. Pump fakes. Steps back and fires. Can't capitalize. They bring it up court. 137 left in the first. Bounce pass to McGlure. Yes! Inbound pass tonight. The Bobcats work it up court and they trail by two. To Wallace. Get pass tonight. Pump fakes. Shoots with the clock winding down. It's in. That's called working for the highlight reel. And here comes his reward, Fitz. Gets it to Mashburn. Dishes to Wesley. White intercepts the pass. Here's the break. Flushes it in. You don't see a lot of fouls on alley oops. The defender should just have conceded the basket after he got burned that badly. The Hornets work it up court. We have a two point game. The pass to Mashburn. Dumps it to Davis. Jackson by Okafor. Lays it right in. The name of the game is finishing off the play fits. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination. And he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. One second differential between the shot and game clock. Passes to the baseline. With the shot. Nice rebound by the 12-year veteran at Louisiana Tech. Feeds it to the middle. With the hook shot. Yanked down inside by Okafor. There's the horn, and we've got a tight one at the end of one, 8-8. Eight eight. Ashburn throws it in to start the second. Davis. Three rebounds now by Brown. Hits the left rim and out. Yes, that's how to bang the boards, D. Passes to Wallace. Ball, ball, ball. Swings it to Slay. Pass to White. The pass to Okafor. Five on the shot clock. The tough shot. Clocked out of the sky by Brown. Well, he missed, and it should come as no surprise to any of us. That was an extremely difficult shot, and honestly, they could have gotten a lot better look than that. Okafor corralled the defensive rebound. Bounces it to Slay. With authority. They bring it up court right around the four minute mark here in the second. Passes to the left wing. Here's the break. To Slay. Feeds it down low. Pulls up. It falls. We can't let that one go by without taking another look. When the opportunity presents itself, you have to take advantage. The Hornets work it up court. They're shooting 40% from the floor. Pass to Mashburn. Tries to back down. Uses the drop step, gets the lane. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense fit. I don't care how that one looked, that was not an easy layup. The Bobcats work it up court and they're leading by two. Passes to House. Swings it to House.
Five on the shot clock. Let's loose for three. Smart. Yanked down Smart. by Mashburn. The defense really met the challenge that time. You have to take your perimeter defense seriously and close out on those shooters the second he brings the ball up. Hit the left iron, but missed by Davis. To Wallace. Pass to Okafor. Steps back. Shoots from 12. Magor grabs the inside rebound. Swings it to Mashburn. Passes to McGlor. Pulls up. Pulls up. Okafor rises up and secures the ball from way above the rim. Pass to Wallace. The pass to Okafor. Puts it up. Can't cash in the 10-foot jumper. Ameka Okafor chose an awfully difficult shot there. I can see it if he had to beat the clock or something, but in that situation, they should have tried for something a lot better. Off target three by Davis. To Okafor. Pass to Wallace. The leaner. Mashburn grabs the rebound. Stolen by House. The bounce pass to Slay to stop the drought. That's rebound number four by Wesley. White will come off the floor. The inbound to Davis. Davis misses the jumper. I tell you, Fitz, they're not scoring well here in the second. The Bobcats bring it up court, and they're ahead 12 to 10. Swings it to Slay. Ooh. Eli commits the charge, and that's his first foul of the game. Aglore will come off the floor. Okafor will leave the floor, and he has really been struggling so far. They bring it up court. 57 seconds left in the second. Skip pass to Mashburn. Misses it inside. Goes up. Money. The name of the game is finishing off the play. Fitz. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination. And he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. The pass to Slay. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Nice bucket by the third-year man out of Marshall. That's good team basketball right there, Fitz. This is to the middle. Releases. Gets the layup. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Swings it to Slay. To 56. With the step back. Let's fly from the wing. Puts too much on it. Beyond the arc. The defensive rebound by Wallace. Got it off in time, but the buzzer beater was missed by Wallace. And that concludes the first half. The score, 14 to 14. Now that we have a little breather, let's check out the ESPN game track with Bill Walton. Bill, it's all yours. P.J. Brown has been converting his opportunities, and he's been a major contributor for them offensively. They need to get him the ball in the second half and try to use his scoring to their advantage. Tamar Slay has been playing well on the other side, and he's kept them tied up here at halftime. He's not going to let up in the second, so it should be a battle to see who comes out on top. Thanks, Bill. Without further ado, it's time to start the third.
Mashburn inbounds it to start the second half. Now let's go down to Michelle Tafoya, who has an update for us. Michelle? Thanks, Fitz. Well, during the half, I spoke with the head coach of the Hornets. He told me there's no cause for panic, but they've definitely got to step it up. He added that their, quote, field goal percentage is not where it should be, and that they, quote, need to get better ball movement and find the open man. We'll see if they can improve on this in the second half. Back to you, fellas. Thank you, Michelle. Okafor hold it down inside. Pass to Wallace. Skips it to White. Skips it to the baseline. From 11 feet away, Brown snags his fifth rebound of the game. Dumps it down low. The finisher, Slay, pulls it in. Jamal McGlure got a terrific look there, and he'll hit that 99 times out of 100. It's that one time, though, that'll get you. The pass to Wallace. Passes to Okafor. Takes a step back. Steps back and shoots. Doesn't get enough under it. Davis can't connect yeah, from the wing. It's one on one. Swings it to Slay. To Wallace. The tough shot. Davis hauls it in off the defensive glass. Jahidi White fired up a prayer. You knew the moment he released it, it had no chance whatsoever. Picked off by Wallace. Here's the break. Slams it through. They bring it up court. 2.55 left in the third quarter. Sails in. Sinks it. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. Bobcats advance it, and we have a tie ball game. Pass to Wallace. Skips it to House. Seven on the shot clock. Gives the up fake. Shoots with the clock winding down. Clanks it off back iron. Eddie House has a mediocre mid-range shot, but the defensive pressure was definitely above average. The Hornets turn it over. That's their eighth. The Bobcats advance it. They're shooting 31% from the floor. The pass to Wallace. Passes it back to House. Five on the shot clock. Pulls the trigger. Graceful finish. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense, Fitz. I don't care how that one looked. That was not an easy layup. Inbound pass. The Hornets work it up court, and they're behind 18 to 16. Passes to Brown. Was out of bounds there, and it'll cost him possession. Eli looks fresh coming back on the floor. House heads up court, and he can pick up assist number five this trip down the floor. Feeds it inside. Slay hammered, and he'll go to the line. And it's good. He gets them both. Davis advances it, he's shooting 11% from the floor. Okafor got the rebound and he's increased his total to eight. To Slay, dunks it. Once he got inside that time, there was no doubt about it. He was gonna throw it down. The Hornets advance it, and they're behind by six. 
The skip pass to Wesley. Floats it up. Can't get it. The defense did a very good job of staying right up on him, and his middling mid-range game just wasn't up to the task. Pass to Slay. Off-balance shot. Money. The Hornets bring it up court, and they'll try to stop the run. Passes to Mashburn. Backs down from the wing. Ripped down inside by Okafor. It's two on one. The finisher hits right rim and doesn't fall. He'll probably hold for the last shot. Wallace cuts off the pass. Bounce pass to Eli. Dumps it down low. Glides in. He has the shot. Pump fakes from just inside the arc. Bounced off back iron and in. We're at the end of the third quarter with a score 26 to 18. Wallace inbounds it to start the final quarter. To Wallace. Swings it to Slay. Bounces it to House. Crosses it over. The Jay was off the mark by House. Well, he missed, and it should come as no surprise to any of us. That was an extremely difficult shot, and honestly, they could have gotten a lot better look than that. Skips it to Mashburn. Five on the shot clock. Gives the up fake. Drops. They bring it up court. Coming up on the four-minute mark here in the fourth. The pass to Wallace. McGlore. Grab the rock. Pass to McGlure. Pass to Davis. Passes to Wesley. From deep. Ripped down from the stratosphere by Wallace. The defense gave him all the space he needed for that one, but it just wasn't in the cards for him. It's not really his best shot anyway. To Wesley. Feeds it to McGlure. Shoots from the post. Nails it. That's why you establish an inside presence. The closer you get in, the more effective those post moves are. Wallace inbound to House. House brings it up court, and he's got five assists. The skip pass to Wallace. Pass to Slay. Pass it to House. To Eli. Five on the shot clock. Penetrates inside. Excellent move by the third year man out of Fresno State. That looked to be a little bit out of his range, but he rose to the occasion and bagged the shot. They bring it up court. 252 left in regulation. Bounces it inside. Unloads. Lays it right in. When you're getting close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. Bobcats advance it. We have a three-point game. Swings it to Slay. Eli. Bulls out. Melvin Eli doesn't have a reputation as a scorer, but you take your offense where you can get it. The Hornets work it up court to shooting 25% from beyond the arc. The pass to Wesley. 
Takes it up. Scooped up by Eli. Pass to Wallace. The dish to Slay. Picked off by McGlure. Here's the break. Bounces it to the middle. The Bobcats bring it up court. They're shooting 38% from the floor. Fires it way up court. Releases. Fifths the layup. Eddie Howard went up strong in the lane, but with a defensive pressure, it was too tough a shot to make. Nice effort, though. The hop step layup was off the mark by Davis. Passes to Wallace. Stops and pops. On the money. We gotta take a look at this one again, Fitz. It's all about making plays like he just did. The Hornets bring it up court and they trail 32 to 25. To Mashburn. Seven on the shot clock. From 20 feet out, missed. And they're still behind by seven. The defender had him hearing footsteps and he couldn't maintain concentration on the shot. Nice D there. Eli will leave the floor. The pass tonight. He gets the first of two. He gets them both. Inbound pass to Davis. Davis heads up court. He's shooting 16% from the floor. Pass to Mashburn. Passes to the right corner. Passes cross court. From the corner. Rebounded by Okafor. Knocks it down. He's off on the second. A goal ripped down the defensive board. Pass to Brown. Tries to post him up to stop the run. White yanks down the rock inside. Four second differential between the shot and game clock. Dumps it home. That's how you rise up and throw it down. You can't get more high percentage than that. The Hornets advance it, but I think they're running out of chances right now. The Hornets miss that one and are still back by double digits. Fitz, they just can't get it to fall here in the fourth. Swings it to Wallace. The pass to Okafor. There's the buzzer, and that'll do it. The Bobcats beat the Hornets 37 to 25. It was a hard fought game, Bill. You can say that again. The Bobcats controlled the middle today. As you can see from the disparity of points in the paint, they ran their offense from the inside out, and defensively they denied penetration and forced the other team to shoot jumpers with a hand in their face. That's textbook execution. Thank you, Mr. Walton. It's now time to see the player of the game. Slay was in top form. He finishes with 12 points, and he's our ESPN player of the game. And that about wraps it up. For Bill Walton, Michelle Tafoya, I'm Bob Fitzgerald. Thanks for watching the NBA on ESPN.